Hello, welcome to Georgia Bisque's card and stuff. Um, today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Um, going back to old stamp sets or carried over stamp sets, not retired. Today I'm using Bloom and Grow, and I'm going to be using that image there. And let's celebrate you. I'm also using forever fern I'm just going to use a leaf and inside I'm using the happy birthday from peaceful moments that one so to get started right I have got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eight scored at four and one eight folded in half let's burnish it again I've got a piece of crumb cake at uh, eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, and I have a piece of wood DSP. This is not Stampin' Up, but Stampin' Up do do wood, and this measures five and seven eighths by three and five eighths, so it's to go right across. And leave a gap either side. My husband snores his head off, sorry. I've also cut out with the large scallop circle dies, the largest one, uh, one circle. The reason I've cut that out now because this is too big to go on my sidekick. Right, I've already cut and coloured the two flowers at the top uh, for the top and the bottom of the front. But we do need to do the inside, so you need a white piece of card for that, which is, let me get one, five and seven eighths by five and five eighths, go on the inside, and which we will decorate. There's no use me doing two, when, or three, when you only need to see me colouring one. I do need to do a little bit of stamping on the sides here of this circle, some leaves, and obviously stamp the sentiment. So let's get our stamping material ready and this. Right, to stamp the flower, I've got Memento Black Ink and our flower, which is too big for that need the bigger one. That's better. Ink it up really well. And then we're going to stamp this along the bottom. Like that, and we also want while we're on the front, uh, inside to stamp happy birthday on the inside, like that. So, just pop that to the side to dry. I'm going to bring this one back in. Now, as you can see, what it's got all like, um, like a, what do you call it? Where it's been sponged. All around the edges, apart from there where I cut it. So, what I'm going to do is just bring my crumb cake in and just run it through the crumb cake just to make it a bit more stressed out and because crumb cake's a little bit darker I'm just going around all of it that just gives it a bit of of an edge don't need that again 
Right, what we do need is soft suede and our Let's Celebrate You stamp. And we're going to just pop that on our circle, scallop circle. There we are, like that. Finish that one. Now we need to bring in our pepper sets because we're going to pop that on there like that, which is in the middle, and with our stamp, our forever fern stamp, we just want to stamp just a couple of leaves. either side of the circle. Just got to guess where I want that one there and that one there. That's fine, that's all I want. to one side and now we're just going to colour these in. Now I have got dark smoky slate, dark soft sea foam, dark crumb cake and dark old olive. So they're all dark. So with the dark smoky slate all I've done was just darken up the centres with tiny dots. I didn't colour it in, I've just done just dots on it just to darken it up a bit. You could say I did colour it in because this one's got quite a bit of blank in it, but that's alright. I don't want it to be a straight circle so that's all I've done is just dotted all over it just to darken them up. Right, soft sea foam is for all the leaves. Just colour them all in. Oops, I nearly went over the bauble. I'm done. Right, with the old olive, all I did with this is went up the just a little bit at the bottom of each leaf, just uh, I don't know, add a bit of colour. Oh, we 
up. And then with the crumb cake, I coloured in all the um, berry things, I think they're called. That's it. And that's how I coloured in all my flowers. So this one now can get stuck inside our card base. And this can get stuck on our uh, crumb cake mat. Leaving the same amount of space top and bottom. This has and doesn't do it. That's better. Right, there is a little tiny hangover. Right now, I've got some linen thread here and we're going to wrap it round twice on our card. And to keep it in place, I'm going to pop a piece of runner tape there and a piece of runner tape there. And then we're going to glue this to our card base. Put a bit of glue on the string and it will hold it down. And we need some dimensionals for the back of this. So I'm going to put four on it, two there, and two there. So either side of the thread. And we're going to place that, have I put on this right? Yeah. And place that there. Now did I? 
Mm. Right. These will glue on there, but we need to put mini dimensionals on the ends here. Down there, down there. So, mini ones. Where did I say? One there. And one there. This needs to go in half. And put a half on there. And this half can go on this side. You need one on there. Right. Let's pop these on. Oh, I don't need that one on that one. Right, let's pop these backs off. And pop a bit of glue across the middle. Down like that. Now turn it round. We don't want that hanging off the card. Right, so that's just going to cover the top of the T. Obviously, put the circle on too high. That's all right. Oh, never put any glue on the middle. to pop under there. That's it. And now all we've got left to do is add some gems which are here and I think I put three on. I did put one there, one up there and one down there. Come off my finger. There we are. And that is our card done for today. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you 
want to see more of my cards please subscribe um, and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday well like I say thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon